Castlevania on the NES Classic. Stage 10, I think it's technically stage 4. We've already fought three bosses. We beat the mummies last time, so let's get back to where we were. Put the shot pause the game, huh? Uh, disappearing whip. <laughs> that, was, that was weird. Yeah, disappearing whip. Oh, let's get. Ah, ah. So this is bats like the Medusa heads, huh? Ugh, worse. I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna try and grab those candles. Yeah, those are big hearts if you want them. Come on. Got him. They're gonna throw. They're gonna throw fireballs. I want to say. Whoops! Because I thought that was a platform. It was not a platform of dead bodies. Unfortunate. So if you already have a fully powered whip, I want to say these whips just drop uh, hearts, right? They drop single hearts. But if you don't have a fully strength whip, you're gonna have to. Yeah, don't get caught up in that. There we go. Oh well. Gotta leave some of them behind unless you learn the pattern. Who was that? I guess I got an extra life. 30k. Yeah! Got it? Okay, I gotta wait till the platform comes back. Everyone's favorite part of Castlevania. Whoops! Wow! Whoa! <laughs> Supposed to crouch, obviously. Didn't you know? Yes, the big hearts are fine. It's the whip power-ups you need to worry about. Okay, there you go. It's now back to good. Yeah! Wow. That could have been a problem. Whoa! Yeah, that's a problem. Where get those extra lives. Oh, that was weird. So I didn't grab the I didn't grab the whip power up that time. So I guess I have to power up. I guess I have to grab the heart first. Is that how that works? Stupid. I might need I might need like a boomerang to grab that one. It's probably not even worth it. That was that was a random. You know, randomly dropping invincibility uh thing. Wow, look at that. I guess that's, that's what I needed, I guess. So why is that just randomly appearing? Is, that, is it supposed to randomly drop from these candles? So they randomly got an axe. That might help. Yeah, I'm out of lives anyway. Okay, that, that, that sucked. That just sucked massively. Do I want this? I'm grabbing it anyway. How many continues do I get, by the way? Let's try that again. Wrong one. Yeah, I got the wrong one. Got a fully powered whip, though. That's what matters. Gotta wait. Got that one. Can't grab that one. That! Made it. <laughs> I think, right? So really, score doesn't matter that much. You can just spawn these enemies for points, unless you like want to abuse one of the enemy spawning systems. I thought that. I thought that. I thought that holy water was supposed to drop, like through the floor. I don't know what happened there. What the heck? As long as he doesn't spit fireballs, I'm fine. Is this the part where the uh, hunchbacks start spawning on top of me, like with the birds start dropping them? Got the one up. Or at least, yeah, 30, 30k for the one up. Yeah, here it is. Can't go back down, kid. Sorry, this is in Castlevania 2. <laughs> this could be interesting. Crap. Guys, I hate this level. Ah! Crap. Let's get the invisibility jar. Wait! 
How'd they hit me? I was invisible. I'm sure this isn't a problem for the uh, slowdown in the NES, is it? Well, not dying. This is actually where I died several times as a kid. Not dead. Always keep a uh, holy water in your back pocket. <laughs> Careful. After all that. Yeah, after all that, you definitely do not want to die. Look at your boy. <laughs> Made it. <laughs> this is the furthest I've ever come in Castlevania. Should I claim it? Yeah, I'll claim it later. I'm not scared. Oh, come on! Oh, good waypoint, at least. <laughs> yes, yeah, the first I've ever come. I don't, actually, I don't think I've ever seen anyone play this game either at this point, so this is all new to me. Feels good to make progress for the first time in three decades. <laughs> I, I just rented the game as a kid. I just kind of gave up on it. I really wasn't that interested. So that's my excuse. So I have to wait, so I have to time it so I know when I know he's gonna spit those balls. There we go. Can't be faded. So we have a big boss here that's a bone dragon, right? Yeah! Okay. Fireball? No, we don't have any more fireballs. Ah, oh, these stupid Igor. God. Yeah, Frankenstein and Igor was always a problem. I didn't want a knife. Crap. Number, no hearts. I mean, no meat. Is there any meat in any of these walls? I doubt it. See, I'm going down again. Wow! I'm gonna have to, do a, I'm gonna have to save scum this part. Just so I can have a breadcrumb save. Give me a second. Let's do a breadcrumb save, so I don't have to do this too often. I can do this on my own. We all aren't watching. <laughs> God! Why is that so hard? You grab all those hearts. Way more important than points, anyway. Which is the other problem with having a high score is that it's too, ran too much random crap in here. Crap! So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do too well against this boss, unfortunately. So what's the plan here? Ah! That look out! Shit! That took a lot of damage off me. So I gotta I don't know the pattern, which is the other problem. So I'm gonna have to learn it. So I might just have to save scum just to figure out what the pattern is for this dumb boss. Some of these bosses aren't hard, just that the waypoint is so far away, you have to basically perfect just getting to the boss before you can even learn what the patterns are. Very old school, I never really liked that. Too many bosses that just kill you before you have a chance to really learn what their patterns are, and they make you spend five minutes trying to get back to where you were just so you can die all over again. Yeah, I have no more health, so I'm not going to be able to survive. Two dragons. Crap, see, we're off the bat. We're off the freaking bat. Okay, no. We're not doing that. So we're going to go back to our safe scum. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> we're on Castlevania. So I'm going to have to save scum for this part. He gets to perfect the fireball whipping. That will help us survive this part. Which is the only reason why it's hard. Is these dumb dragons are just sitting here. See, like, corridors like this, where it's like, yeah, you're just walking to the next dragon. Collecting hearts. I mean, whatever. Such a weird design decision. 
Okay, that'll help me survive. So that's not so bad. Another break from save and delete it. Alright, take it. So I'm almost full health, so that was actually a pretty good run. Ah, crap. That took the shot in the face. Crap! See, can't see. Let's go restart that, so. I think I did better that time, I got half its health off. So we'll see how we do. That shot in the face. God, that's a problem. See? Can't whip those fireballs. You only have five continues in this game? I don't remember. I'm halfway there, by the way, so it's not. Take a shot right in the face again. And I'm a, one more hit, some one more hit, and I'm dead. So yeah. This boss. So it's about figuring out how I can manage, you know, Igor. Like how can I manage the fireballs? Just keep moving basically, right? I'm not scared, so that's Okay, we're off. That, Did that count. Yeah, I take, I do some damage to him. Wow. I was trying to throw a dagger, it didn't work. Weird, huh? See, I don't need more lives. I just need more. I just need the saves going a little bit. I mean, I have plenty of time, so that's not even the issue. That crap right off the bat. Another shot to the face. Wow. So because it's so random, you have to kind of figure out where he's gonna bounce. Where he's gonna bounce? He's bouncing all over the place. You got to figure out where Igor's gonna bounce next. God, again. Is he invisible? Got a lot of iframes, I see. Crap. Okay, I got him. A little bit. Wow. Nice bounce, dog. Okay. I can get him. I can get him. So bad. He's hard, but it's mainly because you have to keep... It's mainly because the waypoint's so far away. It takes so much time to get to him. That got me. So that so you freeze him in place. Yeah, he got me. Didn't know what's gonna happen. God, I just better ignore him and just kind of hope he doesn't bounce in my direction. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> it's probably some really stupid easy strategy that I'm not aware of. Yeah, over the top. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I was safe there. Wow. I don't think those daggers do that much damage, by the way. So this probably isn't a great weapon to have, either. Eventually, you'll learn to carry over weapons from other stages, which isn't great, either. Because it means if you don't pick up the one boomerang you wanted in the previous stage, you're never going to have it here. <laughs> I might even bother at that point. God, again. God! Nope, not enough health. So maybe if I had a little bit more health, I'd probably gonna survive, so I got to, got to play I have to play more efficiently than that. <laughs> Crap. Right off the bat. 
God, can't it can't make that jump. Such an annoying jump. That, that, see, I couldn't hit those. I couldn't hit the fireballs either. That ah, crap again. Over the top. Yeah. See, I'm wasting too much time worrying about the fireball spitter. That's the problem. Finding out where I can stand, really, is what I gotta figure out. So this is a good waypoint, actually, because it gives me enough chances to kind of beat my head against the walls, kind of figure out what I have to do next. I got him. I got him. I got him. Ha! <laughs> Holla at your boy. Well, it's not going to disappear. I'm not... So what am I wasting my time on this for? <laughs> Maybe for the next stage. Take it. <laughs> okay. That wasn't a great run, but I'm going to bank it. Okay, so we know how to come back here later and do that. So basically the idea is to play keep away from Igor. Okay, so we're done. <laughs>